Good day guys, welcome to GeoSo. Today I'll be taking you on 7 survey master tips. So the first thing we need to do is to launch our survey master app and connect to our rover which I've already done before now. So um, the first thing I'll be taking you on, the second thing we'll be doing now is to check our occupation time. Now to do that, we need to go to the survey tab underneath the um, menu icon underneath here then you go to top survey and um, if you notice at the bottom right corner of our controller there's a location symbol with number one underneath and if you pick a point if we see, you have noticed that it has picked the location the coordinate of that point now but if you want to increase the occupational time by probably three to three or five what we can do firstly is to hold on to the number and slide it either left or right to increase or reduce but if i want to and if you notice this is moving at an interval of five but if i want to go make it three or seven all you need to do just to go to the setting then under occupation time you change it to three and you click okay once you do you will notice that it has changed to three and when i click on it it takes three seconds for it to um, pick the coordinate of that point now assuming we are in a situation where um our we see our rover could not pick um signal and it's showing you no know, currently now our screen is showing fixed now assuming we are in a situation where it goes to a float position i want to pick a point that is very very necessary now if you notice it has changed to floats um if we try to pick a point here it does not pick because it is on floats so in a situation like this all we need to do is to go to the settings as well then turn off the fixed um the fixed parts then click on ok now once you do and we click on it you can see it has located it has picked the coordinate of that point already now also the third tip i would like to show you is if you want to um change the topo the topo survey what the, the topo survey is displaying to you all you need to do is just to go to the settings as well then you go to information now if you notice the display option what is showing us is the nothings the instance the height distance to the base and the distance between your points so if you want to probably remove the distance between our points all you need to do is just to click on it and then remove it using this button maybe you want to put our slope ratio all you need to do is just to click on the slope ratio and press this button it will go into the display option tab maybe we want to check we want to display our change in height or the distance the difference between the height we need to do just to click on it and click ok sorry just click on it then you click this tab it goes to the display option that and then you click ok now if you notice it has um the display option underneath here has changed to what we selected and what we removed now the fourth one i would like to tell you about is how to check your data without going to projects now the, the short form the short method of that is just to go click on the elements tab here and we'll see our data or if you would want to go through the longer process all you need to do is just to go back to the home page then you go to projects and you click on elements to show you the data you done and picked already. And fifth tip I would like to give you is how to display the coordinate order. Now for this, you just need to go to the settings in the project um, page, click on settings, and then you go to coordinate order. Now usually what we work in is system comma notice. For paraventure you wanted to work with nothings comma instance, all you need to do is just to click on it, 
once you click on it you see it has been selected already then you just go on with your survey work and the sixth tip i will be showing you is how to add a new data export format when i'm wondering what i mean by exports you know we all know what export means you want to transfer the um, coordinates we've got in here we want to transfer it probably to our um, softwares like AutoCAD, ArcGIS and so on. We already have um, data formats added to us here, given to us on the, on the controller. But in case you wanted to add our own export formats, um, all we need to do is just to go to add. Once you click on it, you give it a name. Let's say GeoSo. Then um, the other other information I will just leave them turned off for now. Now we will notice our delimiter is on comma. That is what we do work with, not space, not semicolon. We work with comma. Now our file format is on .csv. We have other file formats. We have .dat and we have .text. But I will leave it on .csv. And um, the degree type is on dd minute seconds dot seconds but what i'll be working with is degree the second one that is degree minutes seconds dot seconds as the second one then for the available the available formats now we can the selected one given to us is name because name is actually very composite so for eventually i want our code once I click on it, you notice it has gone to the selected side. Maybe I want, I do not want my code, I just clear it. Maybe I want only the nothings, the instance, the height, and maybe I want a start time and um, the base ID. All I need to do is just to click on it to move into the selected bar. Then once I, once I'm done, I check the preview. You can see on the preview, you see it's showing us the name, the buttons, distance height, start time, base ID, and it's in CSV format. Now, once I'm done with everything, I'm sure I've got what I need. All I need to do is just to. And if you can notice that we can also change the arrangement. So maybe we want our buttons to come before this one, just to hold it down and drag it up. And that's then once we are done, we just click on OK. It's not it said it said save successful. And this is our um, created export format. Now, the last thing I will be taking us on is how to F R E set F reset. Now, for the F reset mode, that the, the F reset is just to reset our device back to the factory setting. And um, what that basically does to reset our receiver sorry to the factory setting and um, take for example we are having some technical issues on our receiver or probably we mistakenly connected our we used our base for a rover instead of the base like we can change them and it was giving us some issue we need to do just to go to F reset and for the F reset you just go to device info on that device then you just scroll down you can see f reset once you click on it it will tell you should you should you restart or should you just f reset is come directly so you just click on f reset it asks you are you sure you want to restore to factory settings you click on ok now once you do that it will automatically reset the device and it will go back to the default settings Rover will go back to the default settings that it's supposed to be. So, but I will not be doing that now. So, um, that is all for now. Thank you guys, and please make sure to like and subscribe to our videos. God bless.